Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Greta and I have for you today a compilation of all these new releases and what I think of them. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned for that. Okay, there have been so many releases this year. I think what happened was with all the like supply chain interruptions, a lot of launches kind of um, had some hiccups and all a lot of timelines got jumbled up and all of a sudden everyone's rolling out so many new releases. So I have a bunch here. I kept wanting to do a video and another one would roll in, another one would roll in and I'm like, okay, wait, let me check this one out first. Let me try this one first. And I do like to try them for a few days and not just do a sniff test because I mean, that's like judging a perfume while just strolling by in the store and you get the first 10 minutes and that's really not worth a whole lot of information. And the reason you come here is for the whole tea, right? You want the whole story. So um, I have indie designer and niche launches here. There will be another one of these videos because there's even more coming, I believe. But let me start with this one, which is by Armani Beauty, and it is C. Eclat. Um, why do you look like champagne sparkling? Like little bubbles. My brain's playing tricks on me. I have a whole bunch of these and I even ended up buying two more flankers from them. I missed the 50% off sale, but I was just being an idiot and decided to, after the fact, at full price, buy two more flankers that I didn't have, even though I still haven't finished the other ones I have. But I was thinking of doing a video comparing all of the flankers, but I did see a couple other people do that. I saw Marcy do that. I saw... Rebecca do that, um, and they did a pretty darn good job. I don't know if I agree with their rankings. My, I have very different taste. Um, you know me and my C Fiori. I mean, y'all hate it. I love it. You know, you can't tell me otherwise. I love, that's the only one that's creamy, and that's why I love it. The rest of them are all more of a crisp, translucent type of fragrance. Um, and, you, you know, I love my creamy fragrances and my vanilla musks. But this one doesn't last as long, I'll be honest. I think I do want to try this again in the summer heat. I think, you know, that's what this is meant for. This is meant to be a more refreshing fragrance. Definitely lighter and crisper and great for, for that type of scenario. Um, it ha They all have that black currant in there, which you know I love. This one smells more floral. I, I wasn't loving it. I have to be totally honest. I do. I mean, I'll hang on to them for a little bit. If you want me to do the whole flanker video, I have most of them. I don't have all of them, but I really, I have like, I don't know, nine maybe. I do have a lot of them. I could do that whole video. I think the black bottle, which is intense also, there's a Passion Intense and then there's just the C Intense. I think that one, because it's again, creamy, richer, um, more of that rich vanilla taste in there, taste that rich vanilla fragrance that I like it. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think if I view this more like D&G La Empertise number three, which is more of a watermelon versus this black currant, I think I could embrace it, which that is one I absolutely love in the summer heat. That, you know, for that kind of situation, I think actually I might view this differently and like it. So I kind of feel like I want to reserve my opinion on this right now until yeah let me do that let me like take this sailing or something like that and try it versus just be bopping around town and I might like that better let me try that uh, but this is just to put in perspective with the other things that I have here for 50 ml this is 102 on the Armani site and for the 100 ml it is 135 dollars but this one is black currant and bergamot. It does open with that burst of fruity citrus. And you get a lot of the rose. I don't get a whole lot of the vanilla, but it's enough just to gently sweeten it up. But it's definitely a fruity floral. More floral. And I guess I was hoping for more 
fruity vanilla, I guess. This is the time of year I really like my fruity florals. I'm just letting you know we're going full circle to those of you that have been with me for a while. I do like for the spring and summer to start getting to a lot more girly fragrances. With that said, let's, so with that, I will revisit that one. If you see me start to put that into some summer fragrance videos, means I like it. If I don't say much, I don't like it. I, I'm not one for negative videos too much. Uh, you know, for the most part, if I'm sent something, I don't like it, I just don't mention it. It's just kind of how I am. So let me go to some new, to some new indies that I'm liking. I've tried a bunch of indies. I don't typically like a lot of indies. Um, I do like some. I've recently discovered some that I highly endorse, and I'm going to tell you about them. One of them is brand new. I found this one on Instagram, and Brian, my co-host, thank you, Brian, my two cents. So this is Flower City Fragrances. I, this is the packaging, which I really like. I like this cardboard tube. It's seated in here really nice. I like this. Very simple bottle. I love the etching. He's in Rochester, New York now. So apparently the city of flowers is Rochester. I'll say the only thing that I really have as constructive criticism here is the company name is nowhere on here. Like I had to go back to my Instagram to find the company name. It's nowhere on the bottle. There's the emblem and there's the fragrance name and it's nowhere, like I really think he should put his, his name on there somewhere. I think it's just something he overlooked. Brand new, just launched three scents. Um, I have one, which is Orchid Vetiver. See, there's Orange Blossom, the Orchid Vetiver that I have, and Bourbon Vanilla. And after trying this, I really wanna try all three. The Orange Blossom one sold out immediately. It's ridiculous how fast he sold out in days which was crazy. I'm just really lucky I got this. And it's fresh. It's fresh green, but a green I like. I don't like grassy greens. I do like um, evergreen kind of greens, which are more of like a woody green. I love that kind of green. This is beautiful. It is fresh, citrusy green kind of citrusy vetiver and it is beautiful and I even like this as a woman as a high heat fragrance this works for a woman I wore this while doing some yard work and stuff so I was in the sun I was outdoors I was kind of working with nature planting some things and it just felt so right to me it felt so good like the right fragrance he will have more stock on April 10th which is like around the corner he is just finishing that batch up so he'll have more and I highly recommend it. These are for 50 ml, $109. And then he has 10 mls for $24. Yeah, it's beautiful and refreshing. I mean, I get like lemon and orange and vetiver greens. Longevity is okay. It's, it's, it's kind of the like four hour mark, I'm gonna say. It opens with citrus and pineapple. Oh, okay. And some sweet stone fruits revealing hints of musk and wood all together with a clean, fragrant vetiver. I really get a lot of the citrus and vetiver myself, but I guess as a female, I appreciate that pineapple in there because you know, I, like, I always like a little bit of sweetness to kind of round it a little so it's not bracing and masculine. Men can, can do a much sharper citrus than women can do to smell like a fresh feminine versus wearing a man's fragrance kind of thing. And I think this is is gentle enough of a freshie for a woman to wear it. I find this really, really unisex by girly girl standards, which, you know, my summertime girly girl standards. It's beautiful. I like this one. I, I really like this one. And I kind of like the shorter longevity for these types of fragrances because I've gotten used to enjoying this in the heat of the middle of the day or um, I, they're daytime fragrances to me that by the time evening rolls around, I want something different. So I'm never really mad at the fact that they last like half a day or a little more 
because that's kind of what I want from it anyway. So City of Flowers. Again, I really wish you put that name on here. The next one is another indie brand. And this one really, really blew my skirt up. I'm telling you. Uh, and I'm a little late to this one. I've seen some other people. However, I've only seen men review it. So kind of like Aaron Terrence Hughes, I wanted to try this brand for myself as a woman. Now, actually, Sarah at Glam Finds, she did review this. However, I have literally polar opposite taste from her and she wears men's fragrances. So I didn't really think of it as like a fair girl perspective. And she'll tell you, she likes men's fragrances. I was shocked she wore Dolce & Malfe today. That's what she said on, on Instagram, which I really love and have on my brain. So this is Happy Land Fragrances. And I gotta tell you, for 30 ml, $42, or 50 ml, $55, I want them all. Like, I want these all. But these are the two new ones. This one is sorta new. It's called Paisley Dreams. It is a flank or two Paisley Sky which I find unisex leaning masculine. The dry down starts to get more and more masculine. This is Paisley Dreams unisex feminine. He made it for women. It was the first one he made for women and he knocked it out of the park. And then the actual new one is Gaelic Mist, which I also love. So let me go over them each. So and actually, I think I'm going to do a house overview. I have five of them. I'm going to get some more. And I'm going to go over a bunch of them from a female perspective on these because he deserves it. I'm telling you, these are good. And it's he's already gotten the nickname that these are a fire hose for an atomizer, which I don't know if is really a compliment because ideally you want a fine mist. It really distributes the mist finely. You don't want heavy droplets. However, I will say this heavy atomizer actually goes into a pretty good mist, but it's a fire hose and it, it oh gosh, this smells so good. Now, I don't know what it is, but this one reminds me of Dolce and Malfe. Because it's addictive like it, because when I start wearing it, I can't stop wearing it. And I get these hankerings for it. Like, I, I wore this like a week in a row, even testing other stuff. I had to have this on a hand or an arm somewhere. And then the end of the night, this is what I wore to bed. I just love this one. It is sweet, addictive, feminine. Um, and there's something bubblegum like about it, but it's, it's sweet and girly. Like I, the very first spray I did, I thought, okay, that's cake like, that's cute. And then before I could even finish that thought, I was like, wow. Okay, you're really good, like really good. There's honey in here that sweetens it. However, I'm not a huge honey fan. I, I'm really not. I can tolerate small amounts of it, but the way the honey mixes with the vanilla is perfect. So it's like um, a sweetened vanilla. It's, it's like sweetened condensed milk maybe. There's a Lang Lang, and these I don't get, but I do get the Lang Lang, I get the Heliotrope, I get the Cashmere, I get the Rose, Hedion, I get that base of myrrh and vanilla and sandalwood, amber honey musk, like I absolutely get that sweet musk, ambery feel to it. Super girly girl. The flowers that are in here, it's not very rose forward, but the rose is blended in there nicely. Like EJ, man, you slayed it with this. I want like a 200 ml of this. I want, yeah, a lot. You killed it. I highly, highly endorse this one. Second one he just came out with is Gaelic Mist. He is inspired by his trip to Scotland on this which you know, if you watch me, I'm a huge fan of Green Irish Tweed. Not the price so much, but I love Green Irish Tweed. This is kind of like, it could be an intense flanker. And you know, like when a flanker is better than the original? This. This one is kind of, has a little bit of a richer, spicier 
kind of zing to it than green Irish tweed, but it gives you that same imagery when you smell it. You know, the Scottish greenery, the mist, the air, the everything. There's something such fresh green air about it. Like you're just in a hyper green surrounding. This is also one that I can kind of wear, but I would never wear this out on a date or anything like that because I don't think my man would find me attractive in this. It really is men's. But I love smelling it the way I love smelling green Irish tweed, but I don't wear it. I love smelling it. This one is lemon orange fig. Okay, I kind of see that. Iris, there's not a lot of iris and violet, but this is not really a powdery scent. I don't get any powdery. Sandalwood, vetiver, oak moss, cardamom, and musk. Like I get that cardamom zing in there. And it's just a touch to give it a zing and give it that like intense kind of flavor to it. The fig, okay, I get the fig. I get the fig as part of that freshness. I have fig trees here. Um, this is another one I highly, highly, highly recommend, especially for men, daytime, um, work, fresh, country club. This does not smell like it's price tag, again. But again, they don't have to pay for dis big distributions. They don't have to pay for big marketing. They don't have to pay for big packaging. They can be really reasonable. Um, EJ's been around for like two years or something, I think. He's killing it. I, I want to try a lot more of his fragrances now. I have a whole bunch in my shopping cart. Killing it. Highly recommend this. Greta approved. Greta approved. These are my two favorites of the five I tried. Uh, the other ones would be favorites in the winter time. Being that it's spring, summer, I heavily leaned into these. But uh, I don't hate on those others at all. But right now, yeah, these are hits. Okay. Now for some big ones. I did get eight packs. So, so it comes in a box just like, just like the, just like the women's parfum essence box. I think the cologne parfum also. I don't remember. It comes with a booklet. This is all about getting in touch with the earth, with the ground, with, with nature with the animals on this earth. And you know I love animals a heck of a lot better than people. So this really speaks to me and I'm really, really excited that they sent this to me because I know the tip of an iceberg when I see it. This launch, all the marketing, this is the tip of the iceberg. Let me tell you, I was a little surprised it was part of the Parfum Cologne collection because looking at the shape of the bottle, like just looking at this bottle, Black matte cap is brand new. They've done, you know, I know everything about this house, right? They've done black crystals, but they've never done black matte. This always reminds me of the Range Rover that has like all black wheels and all black everything, but all black. And this is actually similar packaging and shape to the Parfum Cologne and the Parfum Essence. However, different, right? Way different and I'm sure that they'll do different hues the green just like they did the men's cologne I don't know maybe they'll go like the women and they're all purple I don't know I'm dying to find out but I can smell this is the tip of the iceberg this is not confirmed this is just me in my stalker state of like you know I'm a stalker fan of Raja I think this is gonna flank out to a whole collection for men and then knowing the fair man he is and the way he did parfum cologne and then the Essence Parfum for Women, he will have a series for women too. Just my guess. I mean, just, but yeah, a marketing campaign like that, this is, this is big. I like it. I like it. I gotta tell you. I wanted to try this for the men that watch me. I sprayed this all over me and then I took the dogs hiking. It just made sense to me to be outside in nature. Okay, when it comes to Raja, there's the notes and there's what you smell. I've learned by now, you cannot figure out a Raja by the notes. You just can't. You can't. It's like magic what the man does. I've gotten really good at deciphering the notes in there and sometimes it helps me figure out what something is that I can't quite identify. And I struggled because I sprayed this and I didn't get citrus pineapple. 
I got like cinnamon or something, like sweet cinnamon. I was like, oh, spicy. Okay, it's frankincense. It's frankincense mixed with the citrus and pineapple to the pineapple giving it sweetness and the citrus giving it vibrancy. And it opens like that. Oh, God, this one smells so good. Okay, I did not expect to like this on me so much. I went to get my hair done. I brought this with me because my hairdresser loves smelling what new perfume I have. And she insisted I spray this all over her too. She's in love with it. And she's a girly girl. She likes YSL Mom Pere. She likes total girly girl fragrances. I was shocked. She's like, that smells so good. It's all about combining with nature and the animals. And by the way, this book, oh, I haven't looked yet. This booklet is all the animals. I and mean, there's 12 cards. All the animals are in this booklet. And this thing, it is not a tarot card. It is a card which is which animals you kind of like spirit animal kind of kind of. If you go to the Raja website, I'll put a link. There's an app. You'll just push that button. I will demonstrate it for you here. I'll input it. It does a little swirl thing and you come up with your animal. And I think there's a lot to like the animal looking like the shape of your face. Um, there's bear, there's lion, there's wolf, there's eagle, jaguar, king cobra, lion, crocodile, tiger, owl, cheetah, you cheetah you, orca, spirit bear. Now, I can relate to a lot of these in here. The one I really pray that that's not is Orca. I don't know any woman that wants to be channeling her inner Orca. I don't. It's not any woman that cares about her shape. I do not want to channel my Orca. So please, Lord, let this not be Orca. It is the eagle, thank God. <laughs> Free, courageous, and honest. Well, there you have it, guys. I like it. It's a fun game. And I feel like they have a lot more up their sleeve. So, okay. So what does this smell like? It opens with that, with that fresh burst, but also that frankincense is in there giving it that earthiness, that like sweet, spicy kind of smell, even though it's a wood. It develops and you, you do get like a sandalwood. I get a lot of like vetiver in there. I get these vibrant greens and woods in there. Um, this is not a freshie. I mean, I've heard so many things about this fragrance and I'm like, I don't know what they're talking about. I mean, granted, maybe it's different on my skin. I will check it out on my guy too, see how it works on him. But I find it very refreshing and woodsy, fir tree, balsam-like, which you know I like. I like that kind of fragrance a lot. It is not a citrus aromatic. It's it's not your fougere. Like, it calls it a fruity floral sheepra, I think. But I'm like, okay, number one, as a girl, I'm not the best at like fougere versus sheepra. I'll tell you, is it powdery? Is it spicy sweet? Is it citrus aromatic? Um, is it woodsy? Like, I'll tell you all that. The things that I know everyone out there is going to understand. Because I don't understand sheeper. Like, sheeper, okay, it's got oak moss in it. But what does it smell like? There's such a wide diversity on sheeper that I just, it doesn't tell me very much personally. So, I don't get lavender in here. I don't get that barbershop kind of thing. I don't get powdery. None of that. I get sweet hints of a lot of that balsamy kind of woods and fresh greens and fresh vetiver and the fresh citrus blended in like Raja does. It's really worked in there. It is not a citrusy kind of fragrance. It's in there to, to brighten it up. And that's what it does. It's kind of like hues of light shining through with the citruses in there. I think it's great. I'll keep you updated on this one as I spend more time. The next one, um, Aaron Terrence Hughes. I told you about Raw Cherry, which released on 222.22. That one is in my Aaron Terrence Hughes top 10 for women, so I'm not gonna go over that. But 
he has on April 1st, which may be the day this launches, may launch this 331, which is my birthday, by the way. So for my birthday, I have the giveaway of Raw Cherry going on on my page, but guapo, guapo. Mmm, me guapo hombre. You know, I got this one in my first sample batch with Brian, the stuff that Brian sent me, and I said it off the bat. I'm like, you know, it kind of ruined the others for me. This is a whole other echelon. He, he has gradually increased and increased. His fragrance has gotten better and better and better, and also more mass appealing and more ma and just applies to more and more people yet still niche and still true to his personality. He designed this for a man he, he cares deeply for. And you know, <laughs> the best things in life are made when your heart is poured into it. Think about your cooking, you know? The best cooking is when your heart is poured into it and man, does it show. He used really good ingredients in here and I can tell. I asked him, I was curious how this would price because it's definitely a higher caliber. Now, I know Boss Bitch is priced a lot more, but it has a very expensive oud in there and a lot of oud in there. So, but I wasn't sure what was in here, but he used um, a much higher quality oak moss. I think he said this is the one that is non-ifra oak moss, which is usually the good stuff, let's be honest. Non-ifra is the good stuff. So it's, um, oh, and some vetivers. This is more of that citrus aromatic, but there's something like, I put this, my top three for men right now is Raja Oligarch, which by the way, don't worry about that. That will be back. He just, it's just not good timing right now with the geopolitical environment, but he still has it. it it's, it's there. Oligarch, and Fragrance Dubois London Spice, which I absolutely love. This is up there. I'm telling you, this is up there by Greta standards. Like, you know, I like good stuff. This is there. I'm telling you, I'm really impressed. Like this legend was always the like favored legends, the great freshies that he's got. And I'm like, that's cool. It kind of smells like polo green to me now. It's kind of like whatever. This just like blew all the others away. I gotta say it, but it is masculine, 100% masculine. Yeah, I, I don't see a woman wearing this one. He has other freshies like neon a woman can wear, blue haze a woman can wear. This this is definitely masculine and it's a good one. Highly recommend this one too. House of Siage, Batman. This fragrance, <laughs> okay, this fragrance. Once again, a hit. I went to lunch with this, brought it with me and it was compliments galore from the waitress, from my friend. She felt like a million bucks. And of course, as a good friend, I sprayed her down too. You know, the whole sunblock routine. It's gotta go all over. Okay. This open sweet. So there's candy apple in here. <laughs> it's so delicious. It's, it keeps that apple freshness about it, but that sweetness, almost like this cotton candy sweetness in there, but it's candy apple. It's so unique. Nobody else does that. I love it. And the floral in here is magnolia, which I like, which is very pretty. So you have this candy apple sweetness to it, this mid of a fruity floral, and this creamy base with this like sandalwood, tonka, vanilla kind of creamy base to it. And I don't think sandalwood's in there. I just kind of, my image of how creamy that is. It's very elegant the way this is. The heart is jasmine, Egypt, cashmere, and tonka bean vetivert in a base of amber patchouli oak moss musk, which I get. It gives you that amber body, but it really, this is not like beast, but they're always elegant. There's something about them that's very refined smelling, but this one, I feel like I always say this. This is my favorite in a very long time. It might be my all time favorite. I really liked Whispers of Seduction, but this is stronger than Whispers of Seduction, which I like. I like that better. 
This is more powerful, a little more of a fruity floral to it. The candy apple is far more pronounced in this, which I also like. I do definitely like this better than that one. Um, I also really liked Wonder Woman because it's just so easy to like a really good vanilla musk fragrance. I really, really like this one. Yeah. This beats Disney. You know I like my Disney in the summer too. I didn't feel like this was too strong for the summer either. But if you liked the way they were more fruity and girly with the signature line and with the Whispers collection, not the Whispers Noir, the Whispers Noir was a whole different kind of speed to the fragrances. They are back to how they were a little more feminine, fruity floral kind of with the other collections, but more sophisticated, I feel like. I don't know, they're all sophisticated. It's that this works, yet it's strong and has a little bit of that amberiness to it and the patchouli helps give it a little bit of grit, like a little bit of substance to it to give it a little bit of body while staying this beautiful fruity floral fragrance with that. There's no fruit, but that candy apple plays like fruit in here. It gives it that sweetness in a fruity way. I guess apples are fruit, okay. This one is so delicious. Digging this one. And I'm looking forward to the bins because when I got that like peel and sniff, they smelled a little alike. Now, I'm not good at smelling those peel things for a fragrance is not always the best representation of a fragrance, but they both had that sweetness and creaminess to them that I really liked. So I'm really intrigued by the men's. Um, and watching their campaigns, their marketing campaigns, um, I feel like they might have something with the men's up their sleeve seen some campaigns with them holding a men's fragrance they have restocked their men's hallelujah can we give a hallelujah the house of siege number one is back i'm really excited that was a huge hit to everyone and sold out it's been sold out for a long time like a year so i'm happy to see that back and i feel like i don't know i feel like they might be doing something with men's. i'm really happy to see them do a men's here and i'm hoping they are springboarding off that because House of Siage has, has some really good fragrances. I feel like they've gotten better and better. And I'd really like to see some more men's because um, I have a few of them that I really like. They're safe. They're very safe. And I would really like to see them play a little more with the men's fragrances, but that's just my opinion. Um, and again, House of Siage did send this to me and the candle, so I'm very appreciative to them always thinking of me, you know, to... Um, I'm always appreciative when they think of me. That's very, very nice. Those are some new releases. There are more new releases coming. I'm telling you. Um, I think Aaron Terrence Hughes has some things up his sleeve. I mentioned what my prediction is for Raja. I don't know if it's true, but that's just kind of what I smell by watching him in what he does. Uh, let's see. Sol de Janeiro has a new scent in their cream. I'm going to get that. I'm going to try to run to Sephora. The Sephora sale is coming. I think, what is that, like April 3rd, where you get the 15% off? I plan on picking that up then for that because that one sounds really good, but I'm going to run over to Sephora and smell it and tell you about it. But that Sol de Janeiro sounds amazing. It is dragon fruit, lychee, Brazilian jasmine, ocean air, hibiscus, sheer vanilla, and sun musk. That sounds pretty up my, like, that sounds my speed. I love that kind of stuff. So um, the hibiscus, it sounds very floral, girly, summery, and I'm all about that. So I will check that out for you. Uh, House of Siage also has the Ruby Rain that was supposed to come out on Chinese New Year that somehow got delayed. I imagine supply chain issues. That's still in the pipeline that should be coming out. Um, it's Uniquey Luxury, you know I love them. He's got some stuff up his sleeve. Zaharov has Citrine that's also been delayed. That's his new freshie that will be coming out for this summer. Uh, Argos has two more fragrances. I'll see if they'll do a live with me again. They have two more releases. Uh, I think Adonis and another one. Can't remember, I'll put it on the screen. And another indie house I'll tell you about that has some 
new additions that I didn't get the new ones and I want to try them too. And I'll tell you about that one in a whole nother video. Um, but yeah, a lot of new stuff. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.